110 meter high hurdles and what a lineup we've got here it's really a, a world championship final zeng china parchman jamaica darien france and then levy mcleod shubinkov merritt ortega and manga this is zeng he's only 19 a best of 13.82 here for experience of course Crowd giving him a lot of encouragement. Of course, the Chinese in the past have had Liu Zhang to celebrate. Commonwealth silver medalist now, championship silver medalist in 2015, was uh, Hansel Parchman. Darian, the Frenchman, personal best 1309 last year. The Commonwealth champion, Levy of Jamaica. 13.19 is winning time. This man chose the World Indoor Championships, couldn't get a visa, and didn't get to the Commonwealth Games either, so he missed both of those championships. Shubinkov, the most consistent high hurdler, really. Former world champion back in 2015. And now you've got the world record holder, Eris Merritt, struggling to get back to the form that we saw in 2012 when he broke the world record. Ortega, watch out for him, the Spaniard, former Cuban. Season's opener for him, always dangerous. Silver medalist in the Olympic Games in 2016. Manga, this is the Frenchman, another Frenchman. World Indoor Championship bronze medalist this year in Birmingham. Zeng, Parchment, Darien, Levy, McLeod, Shubenkov. Merritt, Ortega, Manga, the men's 110 meters hurdles. The Olympic champion, the world champion. He's won the t last two global championships as McLeod. How will he fare against the man that took his place in the highest place of the rostrum in the Commonwealth Games? Right of your shot. Well, certainly, Eris Merritt going well, and so is McLeod at the moment. Shubenkov coming through strongly at the moment. The rest out of it. McLeod coming through, and on the near side is uh, Ortega. McLeod gets it, Ortega second, and in third place was Shubenkov. Super 13.16. This man is tough to beat. I spoke to him yesterday. He's moved back from seven strides to eight. He said he was very uncomfortable uh, in the seven strike uh, to the first hurdle. And that, he'll please him. He didn't mean to miss the World Indoor Championships, couldn't get a visa. And he wasn't entered for the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, very frustrating, but he's delighted, you can see. That wasn't the most polished performance. Let's uh, take a look again in the white centre of picture. Not the best start at all. Shubenkov maybe got a little bit of a, a leap on him. Ortega at this uh, stage in the orange second left is also going well. But the mark of a, a world-class athlete just coming good and on the lunge, getting yet another victory over his great rival, Ortega, close to the uh, left of picture there. But that will do. That was close, wasn't it? Down to one hundredth of a second, but McLeod, crucially, getting the job done. And knows his history as well, Stuart, of course, talking very glowingly about the importance of this event here in this stadium with Liu Zhang and, and all that means and how he was inspired by the Chinese uh, hurdler to take up the sport himself. Yes, he was. And my goodness me, he's set such a fine example. Difficult to beat. Equals the best in the world this year, of course, but it's early days. 13-16, Ortega 13-17, Shubinkov 13-27. It was close, but he clearly won it, in my view, by a hundredth of a second. <laughs> Here it is again. Not a bad start. We should say he also was nursing a little faint question mark over an adductor problem which as a precaution caused him to pull out of the 200 meters in Doha last weekend but he assured that he was absolutely fine to compete today and so it proved yeah he's very quick on the flat too his trail leg is not great um, he has so much more um, to move over the hurdles he has so much more adaption over the hurdles than the rest and the taller athletes uh, but uh, he's certainly so quick. He's the only hurdler, I think, that's gone under 10 seconds flat for 100 metres, so 
with that sort of speed. He's very good over 200 meters as well. He's got good speed endurance in that. But Ortega's always a danger. He really is. I like this man, former Cuban. Look at that, so quick to the ground. He gets down there all right. He's the shortest one out there, actually, which means he has to modify far more. But a good win by McLeod.